Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. We are doing a series on the Islamic ethics, um, an ethical code that makes you a better person. Um, many times we overlook our uh, ethical code, and Islam has a very refined, a complete ethical code. Um, Imam Ali al-Islam in Khutbat al-Wasila, as we are using that sermon for this series, uh, says that a believing person should possess many good qualities. In fact, all human beings should possess these qualities. Good characteristics always attract more friends. In today's session, we would like to talk about one of the characteristics that Imam Ali salam has described. Man khalat al anzal huqira. Whoever uh, uh, enjoins the lowly people um, is um, insulted. If you sit amongst the people who are low in character, they are unpracticing, then you will be insulted or you will um, earn a bad name. Who will give you that bad name? It is those people because they have a bad name and you will pick up bad habits. It is a man is known by the company he keeps. Even in English there is a proverb that says a man is known by the company he keeps. If you <coughs> sit in a company which is of uh, not good people, then number one, you will pick up bad habits from them. Number two, they will cause you a bad name because people will associate you with them. The people will say that this is the habit or this is the quality he also has because he sits amongst those people. Uh, he probably is like them. He uh, uh, has similar characteristics. So therefore, one should avoid bad company. Bad company means people who are low of character, people who have very bad habits, people who lie, people who steal, people who rob, people, you know, these are, so even, there are so many different characteristics which are, uh, which are evil and we should try and avoid the company. A company has huge effect. Impact is, you, even if you go to a perfume shop and you sit with the perfume seller for a, uh, for, a, for a few hours, even half an hour or so, and you come out, you smell very nice, and everyone asks you which perfume you are wearing. And you tell them, I'm not wearing any perfume. I was only in the company of a perfume seller. And the uh, company had an impact on me. Uh, Saadi Shirazi, the Iranian poet, says that uh, a person asked some um, clay, you know, some... Uh, earth, that uh, how come you uh, smell so nice, which uh, uh, flower was in you? He said, I don't have any flower in me. I am um, the same dust that you see on earth. Uh, uh, Sadi says that, the, the earth, the dust says that I was in the company of a flower and the company affected me. Otherwise, I'm the same dust that you see all the time. So even if the dust remains in the company of a flower, then the flower has an impact on the dust. So we should try and look for good company. Um, even if you sit in a company where people talk uh, nicely, you will pick up the habit of talking to other people nicely. If you sit amongst the people who always shout, then you will also pick up a habit of shouting. If you sit amongst the people who, who always use abusive language or swear words, you uh, unfortunately are likely to pick up that uh, habit of either swearing or uh, using abusive language. So it is very important that you try and look for good friends. Company has huge impact. Um, and people who sit amongst ulama, you know, jalisil ulama. Imam Ali al-Islam in his will, he says that always try and sit in the company of learned people because you will always acquire knowledge. One of the great scholars used to always say that uh, one thing you should always do, uh, have uh, 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 discussion with learned people. If you have discussion with learned people, even if your intention was not good, you will still acquire knowledge. Even if you 
did it with wrong intentions, you will still acquire knowledge because you were discussing with learned people, because discussion with learned people will, will give you knowledge. And ignorant people will, uh, will give you bad habits, will take away your knowledge because knowledge is a, is a light and that light can, can be put out. And darkness is, you know, ignorance is a darkness that, that will quickly show its uh, colors in you. So you know, Islam says that uh, people of low character will will give you a bad name, will give you hokkara. You know, you will either be insulted, you will earn a bad name, you will uh, you will either uh, be disgraced in a, in a way that people will talk evil of you. So I'm always I always try and emphasize to young people that try and find good company. From very early age, if your friends are um, you know, always up to date with their homework, with their uh, sports or whatever, it will have an impact on you. In America, there's a study that they say that if your neighborhood is of, um, of uh, children that are uh, not into gangs, are always uh, polite, your children are most likely to pick up those good habits from your neighbors. So even a good neighborhood has good impact. Your friendship, your uh, company will have good impact on you. The school that you go to, these all have very good impact. Not necessarily that if you go to a bad school, the students are bad, you will always be bad. No, you still can make the, I don't want to be like these bad students, I will make sure that I will uh, pick up good habits. Uh, Hakim Luqman, the wise Luqman, was asked, uh, Adab Askiya Mukhti, who did you learn your good manners from? Again, Saadi Shirazi says this in his poetry. He said, Asbi Adaban, I learned my good manners from people with ill manners. He said, how did you learn your good manners from ill-mannered people? He said, well, whatever they did, I made sure that I don't repeat those uh, ill habits because I dislike it so much then people will dislike me for having those uh, evil uh, characteristics. So I always avoided ill-mannered people or, or I always learned my good manners from ill-mannered people because I made sure that I don't repeat, I don't adapt those, I don't adopt those uh, uh, ill characteristics. So it is important that we not only have good company but even if we have a bad, bad company, we only have bad neighbors that we learn to be good from those bad neighbors. Um, uh, that these uh, neighbors from hell are, you know, like uh, many of the TV shows say that you know, sometimes neighbors can be very um, uh, bad. So what you do is you learn, even from those bad people, you learn good things. Now, what happens is that if a... Uh, Lions starts to live amongst sheep. Uh, they say that sometimes, you know, the nature will not change, but he will surely pick up um, habits from those sheep. He will not start grazing like the sheep. He will still eat the meat, but he will still have characteristics from those sheep. So likewise, if you start to live amongst wolves, uh, you will pick up the the bad habits from of the wolves. So try and always remain in good company. But if you live amongst people who are who are not so good, uh, try and reflect on who you are sitting with, and pick up um, uh, the um, the the advice of the imams that you will not uh, adopt the evil deeds of those people. One other advice from the Ahl al-Bayt uh, is that um, Shavir al hukama whenever you take advice, take advice from wise people. Many times people who are low of character, they lose their wisdom. The Holy Quran says, وَمَنْ أُوْتِيَ الْحِكْمَةَ فَقَدْ أُوْتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا Whoever has been bestowed wisdom, has been bestowed uh, great um, gift from God. So what happens is that if you 
your character is low, you usually lose wisdom. When you are not of good conduct, you lose many of the blessings from God. Uh, so uh, that's why Hokkara, you know, my son says that you will be insulted because you will lose all of those uh, gifts of God. You will be insulted because of losing many of your good characteristics, many of your uh, blessings that you have from God. Um, so please uh, make sure that you don't uh, start to uh, enjoin people of uh, low character. Um, one last thing that I would like to advise. How do you avoid the company of uh, bad people? Well, number one, spend more time reflecting on your own self. Spend more time reading the Holy Quran. Spend more time reading something. Spend more time uh, in, um, uh, in, a, in a religious center, like in a mosque or something, where you don't get the chance to spend more time with people of low um, characteristics. And that way you will acquire a good quality. When you spend time with Quran or books or in the mosque, then you surely pick up something Allah will gift you that others will not have. Finally, um, yes, there may be many people who are not so good in the society, but there are many, many people who are very good in the society. Amongst all uh, creeds and amongst all uh, diversions, and the entire community in their diversity has many, many good uh, character people. So try and look for those good character people. If you can't find them, then try and make yourself such a person that people want to be in your company. People see that, yes, this is a person that I want to be around. I want to stay in his company or her company. So make yourself so good that people enjoy your company. Thank you very much for listening.